What's going on, everyone? Mike Mize is here. Today, we're talking about buying a home in 2022. Uh, there's a lot going on. In case you are living under a rock, a recession is coming. We've been having insane uh, interest rate hikes, mortgage rate hikes, um, and it's stressful. And the news is constantly hammering it. Oh, oh and gas prices. I know that's breaking my bank for sure but the news is constantly hammering it. You don't know who to listen to because there's all these opinions out there. And quite frankly, um, each and every opinion on where we're going um, is, is a valid opinion. So it's really hard to on who to listen to um, and, and kind of where do you make the most informed decision? Um, and hopefully that we can kind of talk about this a little bit and this leads me to my first point is it, when you're buying in 2022, you don't want to listen to the headlines. That is rule number one. Um, and we're going to get into that a little bit, but I know that um, listening to the headlines, oh my God, a recession, rate hikes, whatever, um, it, it's just fear mongering. It's, it's the media making their money. Um, not to say that this stuff isn't happening because it is. Um, but that's all it is. I mean, it's them making money off of headlines. All right. And number two is really sit down and evaluate what you need versus what you want. I needed a yard for my dogs. We needed an extra room for storage. We had a lot of stuff sitting in storage. We were paying for extra storage and an extra bedroom for a guest. We were in a one bedroom apartment, maybe a thousand square feet. Uh, it was big enough, um, but really we, I mean, our, our need was we had two dogs. We had really outgrown the uh, apartment complex that we were at and we had some issues with the, uh, the management there, but that's neither here nor there. That's not what's important, but you know, obviously we would like room for a home gym didn't get that so we made what we could with it we bought placemats we bought weights and we work out in our living room and it works out just as well we clean up everything's fine um you know when when you're looking at what you really need and have in those extra bonuses that just is that much more when you can find a house that actually has it within your budget, or maybe you have to spend a little bit more to get you to pull the trigger? Because that's what we're looking for here. Um, especially a first time home buyer, your first house, most likely, unless you're making a lot of money and you're great with saving and you're great with your money, um, a, lot of, a lot of people aren't getting their dream home for their first house. So it's really important that we differentiate what we need versus what we want versus what we would love. The third thing is don't wait to get pre-approved. This is so important, especially with how the rates are kind of all over the place right now. You really want to lock in your budget. You want to have a good understanding of what your monthly payment is. Maybe you're moving into a condo. Maybe you're moving into a HOA um, or an area with higher taxes. You need to know your budget and you need to execute on that and in the location that you're going to do it and come up with a game plan. Getting those things down is going to help you in the long run. I was in a great mastermind with the group that I'm part of the other day and someone had said, marry the house, date the rate. And that was the most incredible thing that I've heard and something that a tool that we could use to kind of help the buyers understand the uh, nature of what the market is right now is because, yeah, we know that the rates are high. This is a situation and it's not favorable for anyone. And we know that, but if you can afford it, if you can swing it, buy it because rates can go up, prices can go up. We're not too sure where this is headed just yet. Um, we are seeing collection points in the market that might indicate prices are going to start coming down. But right now, I mean, it looks like they're just plateaued. So with that being said, though, in, in a recession, the Fed could 
lower interest rates to stimulate growth again. So, and then when that happens, you can refinance and get that lower rate and surprise, you're already in the house. Because what could happen is when they do that is we start 2020, 2019 all over again. That's kind of what some people are saying and other people are saying that there's gonna be a crash, but what we need to remember in 08, when we had that crash and recession, that was a home house, housing market, excuse me, driven recession off of subprime loans and that, um, that area kind of collapsing and imploding in on itself because of sudden rate heights where now we don't have those loans. We're not writing those loans anymore. So that's like, the, that's a really big factor in as why people might think that, um, that that could happen again. And I don't see it although we could see prices go down five, 10%. But like I said, we just don't know. The fourth thing is, is don't waive anything. You, we are getting into a market now. Yes, it's still pretty hot. It's competitive, but there's a lot less um, buyers in the game due to everything going on right now. Um, so the ball, it's kind of, I wouldn't say it's in your court, but Sellers are thinking that they're going to sell their home for top dollar, and we're seeing price decreases. We're not seeing the market decrease, but we're seeing the, the price sit for maybe a little bit longer, and then they're, they're going to have to decrease the price because, well, you know, it's not what you thought it was going to be at that time because everything was selling just four months ago, 100000 over asking, and it's not doing that anymore. So that's in your favor because you're not going to have to waive inspection and get into this house and be like, oh my God, what did I just buy? That doesn't have to happen anymore. The fifth and final thing is to, to make sure that your lender, your realtor is a local expert. Those are the most two uh, important things that is going to help you in the long run because they know the market. And if they're doing their job, which I know a lot of us are studying it very closely because it's getting intense is, you know, where do we need to go to fit in your budget? Where do we need to write an offer to get you to win? And in turn, which price point do we need to be looking at? Because I have a lot of my buyers 20% less last year. We were looking 20% less than what they were approved for and what they would like to spend because of the understanding of, hey, these homes are going 50,000 over asking. So we need to look a little bit lower with the expectation of spending 50,000 extra. And it's not to, to, oh, see how much we can pinch out of you. That's not the case. It's the case is, is that I, I see the data and I see these homes going and sometimes you're going to have cash offers coming in and swooping everything, but you need to take a look at that and see, okay, this, this house sold 20% over asking. So, and, and, and these particular markets and these particular neighborhoods and uh, home prices kind of gather that data and you kind of see the trend there enough to say, this is a fantastic offer and we have a, a solid shot versus just, eh, we'll go 10 over. What do you think? It's like, it's a little bit more than a guessing game when you're actually paying attention to the data and, and a local expert is helping you navigate the market when they're looking at it in a numbers way as well and an emotional way of working on your behalf. Um, so that's really important. Um, at, those are my five big things that I'll leave you with. Um, like I said, this is, uh, it's a fun market. It's stressful for a lot of people, but um, doing your due diligence is very, very important. And that will help you win 2022 in the long run if you're looking to buy, get in your first home at, or move up or move laterally. Um, so I, I really hope this helps. Um, if you like the video and made it this far, like, comment, subscribe. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.